Samarkand, one of the oldest city in the heart of Central Asia, a splendid cultural legacy, and now a testament to the region's vibrant history. The ruins of Afrasiab were excavated underneath this slope. The Sogdian lived here. The fact that all trade caravans pass through Samarkand is proof of its important position on the Asian Silk Road. Murals at the site still shine today as a vivid snapshot of how Samarkand bridged diverse nations and cultures back in the 7th century. The Eastern Wall is believed to depict Volcumen, the king of Samarkand, receiving delegations from various countries. They span from what are Korea and Japan today in the East to Rome in the West. It was the most prosperous golden age. The Sogdians were skilled traders. They brought a lot of silk from China, established extensive trade relations among these territories. The region's long-lasting relations with China are also evident on the Northern Wall paintings. It was typical dress during the Tang Dynasty. We can say, without a doubt, that it's the Chinese. It shows that diplomatic, commercial, and economic connections were well established then. And it's no exaggeration to say that our ancestors laid the foundations for the programs of the Belt and Road. Fast forward to the present day, connections fostered across the centuries make Samarkand a new beacon, bringing together East and West, North and South. The unique qualities of Samarkand, which now also has a modern and dynamically developing infrastructure, can serve as the basis of new format of international interaction or joint discussions based on the principles of mutual respect, trust and constructive cooperation. The city witnessed a historic declaration in 2022, made jointly by leaders of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in the face of global challenges. Our common vision is to strengthen cooperation. This cooperation is based on multilateralism and is between all SCO members. This sprawling urban complex conceived for the SCO summit is also expected to serve a key purpose in the long run. It not only includes a conference center, but commercial areas, residential districts, and even a recreated Asian town showcasing the history, culture, and crafts of Uzbekistan and Chinese are also playing a role in its development. This is the first time there's been cooperation of this kind for a Chinese hotel brand to export our management skills and service abroad. After the summit, our main goal is to host large-scale international conferences for all the surrounding countries from Central Asia, Europe, Russia and China. And we are well prepared for various large enterprises as well as tourist groups, Cultural exchanges take a very friendly form, and they are very broad prospects. As the brick and mortar of the SEO city complex builds a new bridge for different cultures and nations, it offers a clear reminder of how echoes of the Asian Silk Road continue to resonate through the ages. Feng Yilai CGTN, Samarkand in Uzbekistan.